Hi guys and welcome to You Do's Mail Corner. So, let's see. Dear You Do team, my name is Handy and I want to get a You Do because I like it so much. But I fear it will not be compatible with my Arduino shields. Please help me. Well, Handy, let's help you. So, a lot of you have asked us uh, about uh, Shields compatibility. Well, um, as you may know, Arduino 2 is on Udo and there is a main difference between Arduino and Arduino and so for the Shields. Uh, it is the voltage. Um, Arduino 2 and Udo runs on 3.3 volts while the original Arduino and a lot of, um, of Shields run on 5 volts. The thing is, you cannot supply uh, Arduino 2 and uh, some tricks on you do with 5 volts because you could potentially damage it. So, let's see how we can know if we can attach a shield or not to you do. Well, first you have to understand if the shield runs at 3.3 or 5 volts. If it is designed to operate at 3.3, well, you're good to go. You can attach it to you do and uh, you can enjoy it without worrying about it. If instead it runs at 5 volts, uh, you have to dig a little bit in detail to know how to proceed. Um, you know that uh, sheets can carry out typically two kinds of operation, uh, input or output. Um, for example, we have uh, this uh, relay shield which we receive data from uh, you do, and so it doesn't really matter if uh, uh, we feed it with 3 or 5 volts. Instead, for example, uh, this GPRS module both sends and receives data from you do. The problem with 5 uh, volts if you feed 5 volts back to some tracks. This uh, is not allowed. So, uh, since this writes also back to some tracks at 5 volts, this could potentially damage the board. But don't worry, because there's a fix for that. Uh, we have studied a simple uh, electronic uh, circuit, we are talking about uh, two resistors, uh, which you attach to the 5 volts uh, you wish to use, and you can safely operate it with you do as well. So, um, we can say that virtually every Arduino shield is compatible with you do. So, to sum up, make sure that uh, your Arduino shield works at 3.3 volts. If this is correct, well, you're good to go, no problem. If instead it works at 5 volts, if it just receives data, you're okay, good to go as well. If instead it has to write data back into you do, so it could potentially send 5 volts back, well, you have to apply the two resistor fix, which we are going to detail in the article, and it's really, really simple uh, to understand. Uh, we've also um, prepared a little video to show you how to correctly pair um, your UDO with uh, every Arduino shield. The Arduino Due has just uh, um, two more pins. Um, than the Arduino, the original Arduino. So uh, the last two pins you don't have to con to consider that. But let's see how to correctly align and pair every shield for you. Two. Okay, let's see how to properly attach and connect an Arduino shield to you. Two. As you can see on you do on the top left corner uh, we have a line starting with buin then we have two grounds 3.3 and 5 volts then we have the analog pins and the digital pins in all over the board like an arduino 
you can see we have the exact same layout on our Arduino shield. So all we have to do is just pair and align those pins, taking as reference the Buin ground 5 and 3.3 volts. And insert the bird to it. Then we can just check the other side of the board to see a proper alignment, and then we can just snap the shield into U2. Done! Connecting another sensor, like for example this RefID one, is as simple. We can see we have voltage, ground and serial communication. We just have to know at which voltage runs this sensor so we can attach the VCC to 5 or 3.3. Then we attach the ground and the serial light communication. The same applies also to this relay shield. We have the voltage two channels and ground. We connect the voltage to the required one, that could be 3.3 or 5, you can check the datasheet of the shield for that, connect the ground and both channels at the desired pins. You can apply this to every sensor and shield, just remember to align and take as reference the top left corner leaving two pins in case it is was designed for Arduino One. Okay, now that you know how to pair your Arduino sheets with you two and make good sandwiches like this one, well, you're good to go and you can uh, create everything with your existing uh, uh, Arduino shields. We've also created a forum thread for you where you can exchange your feedbacks uh, um, of the sheets you have already tried and uh, understand if others have done before you go. So stay tuned because uh, uh, we have a lot of good news and surprises for you all and uh, you may have spotted one in this video. So follow us, follow us on our social profile and uh, stay tuned uh, both on the blog and on the forum. Enjoy! Bye!